Hey guys, this is Chris with Tech and Trails, and today I'm going to show you how to set up APRS with Backcountry Navigator using the Yaesu FTM 400 XCR and a Bluetooth connection to an Android tablet. Okay, so here I have the radio mounted on a bracket under my seat. I have the DB9 cable for the radio, and I'll link to that part number in the video description. I have that connected to a 9-pin gender changer, which is then connected to a Bluetooth serial adapter. And I will put a link in the description to that adapter that I purchased off of Amazon. The adapter is powered from a USB connection that I have routed into my center console. And then I'll show you what's going on up the radio. Okay guys, so if you go into the settings on the radio, and then in the data section, the first option is COM port setting. So if you go in there, I have my speed set to 9600, and the output set to packet. Okay, now on the tablet, you need two pieces of software. The first one is called APRS Droid. And you can either buy that through the Play Store, or they have some versions if you go to their website, which I'll link to in the description, you can actually download it for free. But I suggest purchasing it off the Play Store so you can support the development. Now if you go into the preferences, you see your APRS connection right here. If you go in there, after you've paired the Bluetooth adapter to your tablet, and if you haven't done that yet, you can come down to Bluetooth settings and pair it right here. But after you've paired it, you want to choose connection type, Bluetooth serial port. Okay. Make sure your connection protocol is set to Kenwood. And then once you have that set up, when you start a PR story, if you do start tracking, you should start seeing all of your received beacons show up in the log. The other piece of software that I use is Backcountry Navigator. Now Backcountry Navigator has a beta feature to integrate with APRS Droid. If you go in here and you enable APRS Droid service, then all of the beacons that are received by APRS Droid will show up on this map. And this is this is really nice because you can download offline maps to Backcountry Navigator, topographic maps that can be used for off-road navigation, uh, you know, anything else that you might like, and all of the received beacons will show up on them on the map. So that's basically it. The setup, not too difficult. You gotta buy a couple parts and, and cables that don't come with the radio. But relatively inexpensive. The, the entire setup can be done for less than a hundred dollars if you get good prices. And, uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Hit a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, we're just getting started on this channel, so hopefully uh, there's much more content to come. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks.